Well, I made it back from Massachusetts, and that was a great trip. I really appreciate my friend Michael inviting me up and hosting me and getting me on some great permissions. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about right now, about permissions. You know, no sooner than I started posting some of my finds, I had several people from that area saying, be careful, conceal your locations, because it's pretty dog eat dog up there, and people fight for permissions and stuff like that. And it's got me real concerned because of the, uh, the way I shot my videos, I can't conceal my locations. And I'm not trying to conceal my locations because we were working with the Falmouth Historical Society and uh, the, the uh, agreement that we had with them was we would search the property and then we would return everything that we found. And uh, the same way when I was up in Plymouth at that uh, downtown location at uh, the Jenny Interpretive Center. That's a, a business and back behind it by the grist mill was a, a, a vacant lot and I had exclusive permission on that as well. And I've already told them that after the video airs they may have people come and and ask them for permission and they're not going to grant that permission. And plus everything that I found that you see in these videos, I brought home, I cleaned everything, researched everything, documented everything into a report. And uh, I made, a, I'm, I'm making a display case with along with that report, sending it back to my friend who's going to take it to and present it to them. And we're going to do another little video or, or pictures right there later on. Find your own permissions. Don't go night hawking anybody else's permissions and don't go on anybody else's even in the daytime. Uh, let's keep this hobby in good uh, uh, reputation, I should say. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. Yeah, check that out, guys. I don't know what it is. It's going to be a colonial copper? Or is it going to be... It's a copper. Oh, that's going to be old. That's going to be old. It's flowing hair! It's flowing hair! Check it out! It's a seeded. It is a seeded quarter. And I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar! That is a breastplate. Eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just my Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you gotta kiss her. She's beautiful. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. All right, this is going to be day two of my Massachusetts uh, adventure, and uh, we're back out here at this 1790s house. This little spot right here in the yard just seems to be keep producing. And I'm just right now, I'm digging every little iffy signal. And a lot of time it's just nails, square nails and round nails and everything like that. But I got a real scratchy 50, 55. Then it started zeroing in on a 56, 57 and uh, popped it up. And it's gonna be another Indian head penny. Check this out. It'll be a 1907. Not gonna be that old, but uh, for this area, but uh, hey, I'll take a 1907 any day. I love Indian head pennies. They're coming up real, real scratchy at first, so I know what to listen for now. Maybe I'll squeak a few more out, but I'm looking for that old silver today, so let's go get it. You got, Michael? Indian head penny. Nice, and this has been, this has been a great spot.
This is just amazing. I mean, I never thought I would get to come to Plymouth and be at the very heart of town where it all started to be detecting right here by the grist mill where all the community was. This right here, back here, was the original rock wall that fell down. They just covered it up. So that's a, an old rock wall right in there. And uh, so we don't, it's not a big area, but it's definitely old. So we're gonna dig everything. So let's get to digging. Let's see if we can find some old silver. Well, I got my first find. I dug several pieces of trash. I got a 90, 89 to a 90. So I dug it and I was digging up a lot of iron junk with it too. And it's deep, man, it's deep. Uh, it, it's a mud hole, it's just a sponge. There's a uh, actually a, a spring right here beside me. But uh, first find I got is a buckle. You can see it's very deep. I don't know the age of this yet. Let's go down here to the grist mill and uh, maybe we can wash it off and get a little bit better. Oh, it's just a sponge. It's so wet here. Make sure I don't drop it. There we go. Get a little better picture. That's copper. It's not brass. It's copper. I wonder how old this is. I mean, I'm in the oldest part right here. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Check that out. We'll have to research that a little bit. So let's get a picture. Let's keep on swinging. Took my last hole there. Came about eight feet. Getting a 40 something. I'm not live digging because it's so muddy and so, uh, so much trash. But check this out. I don't know what that is. That's decorative though. Let's go uh, back down to the grist mill and uh, let's wash this off and see what this looks like. Oh, check that out! Check that out! I don't think it's going to be 1700s. I don't think. I'll have to research that. Looks more like Victorian period. Let me go wash it off a little bit better. That's pretty nice, isn't it? I like coming down to the grist mill, washing it off. Just don't drop it. Check that out, guys. That's pretty cool. Don't you think? I like it. So, let's get a picture. Let's keep on swinging, see what else is in here. Six inches down, 94, 95. If I turn on it, still staying a little bit up there in the 90s. So is it gonna be another largey? I turn there, it goes into the 89, 90. Ah, uh, I think this may be a large cent, I hope so. I would take even a large silver over a large cent. But let's uh, dig a big plug here. I found all kinds of pottery and uh, glass. It'd be a good bottle dump in here. Do good sift. Well, it's got tree roots all right here. Oh man, those tree roots are tough. It's got the big plug out. Hope I don't hit no coin. There we go. All right, let's see if it's in the plug. Oh, in the plug, got a 92, 90-92. Oh, what do y'all think this is gonna be? You think it's gonna be silver? Oh, please let it be silver. Please let it be silver. Let it be silver. Oh. Still down there. It's silver. It's silver, guys. Look at that. Right there. What is it going to be? A Washington Quarter? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I've never been let down so much by a Washington Quarter. 
nothing today. Oh my goodness. I got my silver, but it's not old silver. 1940 Washington Quarter. Oh my. Man, that thing is, look at that. That's at least five, six inches deep in Washington Quarter. Oh, I could have could have been seated, could have been cat bust, it could have been anything. All right, let's get a picture and keep swinging. We'll see if we can't find that old silver. Got another 84, 85 right beside the other silver Washington. Let's see if there's gonna be another silver. Okay. Several signals in there. Let's see what this is going to be. Either a dime or it's going to be a quarter. I wish it's going to be an old. Oh, man, those roots. All right, what can all that be? Four inches. Oh, a 95, 96 in the plug. Don't tell me that's springing up. A 9596, no way. Another coin in there. No. Oh. That was it. Clad. A 9596, what's wrong with the manacle? It's just a memorial Ooh. piece. So off to the next. Next. I was getting a 90, about seven inches deep. And uh, looks like it's going to be a, maybe a copper hinge. Can't tell. Let me uh, let me clean this up and we'll show it to you. I don't know what that is. It's definitely. Uh, I think it's going to be more modern because I can kind of see some chrome on it there. Looks like it's something, but not too excited because it's got a little chrome looking to it right there. So that's going to tell me that's not 16, 1700s. So let's just keep swinging. I'm just going back over the areas that I've already been detecting and uh, got a real faint 49 to 54. Popped it out. It was a real loud 56 and uh, popped it up. Check it out what it is. Yeah, it's down there about eight inches deep. It'll be old pocket knife. Check it out. I don't know how old that's going to be, but yeah, it's always oh, got a, a hook on it too. Oh, they're coming to get me. We're illegally detecting on historical property. Now let's wash it off and look at it. There it is. How old do y'all think that is? That is a scout. It's a scout knife. Scout knife. Scout? Yeah. Awesome. An old scout knife. Awesome. Look at it. How about that? That copper's coming out good in this. That is coming. Real it's got a little rust shape. right there. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's got the hook on it. I'll be darned. That is a cool find. Nice. Cool find. Well, I'll just keep working this and uh, see what we can get. Let's keep swinging for that big silver. I'm getting a faint. You can see it, 94, 80, jumping around. But right here in this bog. So, let's live dig this. And let's see what we're going to get. Let me look closer here. Oh, this is, this is muddy. I don't want to do this. Oh, no gloves going in. It's like a sponge, isn't it? Oh, it's just... Oh, what? They had a good hot tone on it. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Alright. I can't find it. I know. Them 
mud makes it interesting. Time to swing again. I know. I thought it was in your hand. Ah, right there. Right there. Tell me. What is that going to be? Check Look at this. Out. Yeah, check that out, guys. I don't know what it is. It's gonna be a colonial copper, <sighs> or is it gonna be? It's a copper. Thank you, Lord. I can't tell. There it is, right there. The oh, that's gonna be old. That's gonna be old. There's one cent, right? Oh, look at the condition of that. It's one cent. A large scent. Wow. Let's flip it over. It's flowing hair. It's flowing hair. <laughs> Check it out. I think That's it's it, flowing right hair. There. I think it is too. Oh my goodness. Is it flowing hair? No, I don't know. No, it's more of a bun. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh gosh, it's gonna be my oldest, going. oldest coin, oldest US copper. Check that out. Let me go down here to the grist mill. Don't drop that in there. Oh, guys, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Let's just pray I don't drop this coin. Oh, look at that. Looky there. Let's dry it off a little bit. There she is. It's not flowing hair, I don't think. It looked more like a bun in the video. Yeah. But I don't know. Let me, uh, I don't know what this is, so let me let me clean this up a little bit better and let it dry out. And we'll get a better picture of it. All right, I moved away from that grease meal. It's not a drape, it's not a, a flowing hair. It's a, it's a, a series before that. It's a drape bust. It's not dried out yet, but you can see it right there. It's 1802. I just missed the 1700s with it. 1802. Check out the back, it's in great condition too. My oldest US coin right here. I wanted to get a drape bust or even older. Now we gotta go for that silver. Ah, oh, beautiful. Let's get a picture and let's see if there's another one down in the hole. So it's great to be here in Plymouth at the very heart of America. And even wonderful, even better, to know that we met some new people and they let us right here on the land, right where the grist mill and the town brook comes through. So it's cold, it's rainy, I'm soaking wet, I'm headed to the truck. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys at the wrap-up. Well, I had a great time up here in Massachusetts. I want to appreciate my good friend, Michael Clark. I want to say, Michael, thank you very much, man. He's laid back over there, taking it real easy. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. Let's show you what I found on this trip. And uh, we'll start here with all the trash. We'll check this out. There is all the trash. And that's not all of it. And it is a mound of trash, boy. You got to dig all that stuff to get all the great treasures. And when you're digging up here in, in Massachusetts, you dig everything, every. Uh, iffy signal because you never know what it's going to be. Here's all the clad. I ended up with uh, five quarters, 11 dimes, seven nickels, and 29 pennies. I wish all that was silver. Uh, and then here's the finds from yesterday and today. Here's all the good treasures. That's a lead bar. I want to do some research. If you guys know what that might be and go to, you can bend it around, but it's just a lead bar. I don't know what it was used for. Got a horse rosette, uh, got a, at that 1749 property, we got this D-ring. Uh, I want to get my buckle book and see how old that is. I believe this is going to be um, Victorian period. Even It came out of that 1749 property, but I think it's going to be Victorian. It looks like Victorian. Then a pewter fork or spoon handle. Then a Slitz malt liquor uh, bell seal from Boston, uh, from uh, Massachusetts, Boston. I did get this weird, it says Max Lead by Max Light. I don't know, that's pretty pretty new stuff. But I dug that out of the 1749 
property. I'm like, wow, something so modern in that old place. Got a scout knife. Uh, I'm not sure on the date of that yet. Hopefully in the video, you are, I've already posted what uh, time frame that was. Some weird Buddha head uh, or something. Uh, I dug that out of the pastor's parsonage there in uh, Falmouth. Uh, let's go up here. I dug a Canadian penny, 1980s, I think, at that 1749 property. Ended up with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I have one more that I dropped on the ground and couldn't find. Wheat pennies, and I uh, don't know the dates on those yet. Haven't looked. I did get a flat button. Nice one. Shank is still there. You can still read the, the writing on it. Once I get home, you probably already seen in the video what date this is. But anyway, that's a good thing. And another weird button was that Cupid button. I've never dug one of those. And so hopefully we have found out already what uh, what, what that was and when it was. Uh, here's some of the better finds. We got an 1892 Indian head penny. Then this morning we went out, went back to the same place where I dug that large scent yesterday. And one of my first targets was a 1907 Indian head penny. And so great uh, start of the day. Um, I ended up with a 1940, is that a 45? Yeah, 1945 war nickel. We got us a 1938, 1939 mercury dimes. Look at the condition of those things. Excellent condition. And this one right here gave me a heart attack. Boy, was it that 1749 property? I want a silver so bad. And I dug it out, and you saw it on the video, and saw the silver edge. And boy, when I revealed it, it was a Washington quarter. Never been so disappointed in getting a Washington quarter. But anyway, I thought it was going to be. Look at the back of that, how clean that is. Look at the front of it. Yeah. And the best finds for the trip are right here. Drum roll, please. An 1830. Was that 1831? 1831. Um, um, large scent. I think that's going to be a, a matron head or a, a, a cornet head. And then today, I finally, I wanted to come. Last time I came up, I had an 1818. 1818 is the oldest U.S. coin that I have. Uh, and then I busted it right here. Check this out, folks. That is a draped bust. Let me see. It's just, there it is right there. You can see it right there. Draped bust. One cent, large scent. 1802. Just two years off of 1700s. You can see it right there, really good. And then we flip it over. Look at the back. It's, the back is in great condition as well. Still see one cent. Yeah, actually, you can see it better in person than you can on the camera. And so that right there, I finally got to drape bust. Next is flowing hair. And I wanted to get a cap bust silver. I wanted to get past seated. And so those are my two best finds. And that one coin right there is worth the trip up here right there and it got it on the last day and uh, man that was such a great find i also got some uh, some different glass i saved all this because the people that own the jenny uh institute place that we were digging in um i'm going to be sending all this pottery i'm going to kind of get an age on all of this we know it's all going to be close to 16 1700s and uh, i'm going to be putting all of that the large scent and the things that I found in a great display and send that back to them with the history of it all. And they were very appreciative of that. So there it is, folks, all the trash. You got to dig that to get all of this. Like I always say, the greatest treasures, folks, is not what you can come up to Massachusetts and even to the, the very heart of America here, Plymouth, uh, Massachusetts, where it all started with the pilgrims. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.